Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead here on ArcleTexHomePage.com, the ArcleTexHomePage.com app, and the new weather, ArcleTex Weather Authority app. And you can see what's taking place. The disturbance that has been bringing us all the uh, rainfall recently is beginning to nudge its way towards the east and northeast. We have uh, upper level ridging, which is beginning to build here to our west. This is eventually going to expand to the northeast. And all this equals a hotter and drier weather pattern uh, for quite some time the way it looks right now. Here's a quick look at temperatures first of all as we're looking at lows tonight across the Oracle text that will dip down into the mid 70s. These readings several degrees above normal. 76 in Shreveport, 75 tonight in Texarkana, 74 degrees for the low temperature in Marshall. Daytime highs tomorrow will be in the low to middle 90s, 94 in Natchitoches, 93 in Shreveport, and 92 for the daytime high tomorrow in Texarkana. As far as rainfall, it looks like we'll see things begin to wrap up during the nighttime hours tonight as we have those scattered showers and thunderstorms which will end overnight. Uh, tomorrow we've got to watch a little cluster of thunderstorms to our north. Some models indicating this could uh, make its way into the northern sections of the area. At the uh, very most, probably a chance for a shower or thunderstorm northern sections of the area uh, during the afternoon. But again, most of us will stay dry as we go through tomorrow night. We will see conditions across the Oracle Tex uh, remain partly to mostly cloudy. Again, a little bit of rain possible across the north that will wrap up and then Friday we close out the work week with that mix of clouds and sunshine. I don't expect to see anything as far as rainfall uh, for Friday. As far as the overall weather pattern this is what we are looking at here as uh, we obviously some changes on the way. You can see that upper level ridge building here across the uh, southern Rockies. It is going to keep the main storm track and uh, to the east of the Oracle Texas. You can see that ridge will expand more towards the east here heading into the middle part of next week. And by the time we get to the, uh, say, Wednesday of next week, the center of that ridge uh, should be located just to the north of the Arcaltex, keeping us hot, keeping us dry. There is a possibility this ridge may build enough to the north that we may see a little bit of a disturbance move on the bottom side of its circulation, maybe, just maybe, giving us a slight chance for a shower or thunderstorm towards the end of next week. But most of the week ahead will be hot and most of the week ahead will be dry as we are going to be looking at an increasing threat from the combination of heat and humidity. Here's a look at, you might recall, highs tomorrow, low to middle 90s. Take heat index through the afternoon. You can see those values very well could approach 105 across the region. Uh, we will likely see a heat advisory, I would suspect, uh, for possibly Friday, and a good chance we'll see it for the weekend, as we'll see a little bit warmer temperatures Friday and much warmer temperatures, highs in the mid to upper 90s for the weekend. So again, uh, keep that in mind if you have some plans outside this weekend. So that being said, here is your seven-day forecast. It shows plenty of heat, not much rain, and uh, plenty of humidity, as we'll see daytime highs eventually settle in that uh, 96 six ninety seven degree range a few upper 90s will be possible in spots overnight lows will stay in the mid to upper 70s and each and every day you can see the moderate impact here that tells you that the that heat and humidity combination will continue to be something we'll have to be concerned about as we go through most of next week